Good day, my dear accounting students. I am Mr. Stephen Alexius G. Baltazar, your senior high school teacher for the subject Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management 1. Our topic for today is about business transaction analysis. Our learning competency is taken from the Curriculum Guide for Fundamentals of ABM 1 and it goes to describe the nature and gives examples of business transactions. Our objectives for today's session are as follows. First, to describe the nature of business transactions. Second, to give examples of business transactions. So we're going to start our discussion. What is a transaction? In accounting terms, a transaction is any event that both affects the financial position of the business entity and can be reliably recorded. So when you say financial position, meaning it has an impact on the elements of the accounting equation. So what is the accounting equation? Again, let's recap. Asset is equal to liability plus owner's equity. Take note that it should be reliably recorded, meaning you have the data like the date of the transaction, the nature of the transaction, and of course, the historical cost or the amount of the transaction in order for it to be recorded reliably. Every business transaction, no matter how simple or complex, can be expressed in terms of its effect of the accounting equation. A business transaction can cause an increase or decrease in the asset, liability, and owner's equity. Let us now define what is a business transaction. Business transactions occur on a daily basis as a result of doing business or events that are to be recorded as part of the accounting process. There are two types of business transactions. It can either be external or internal. External transactions are exchanges of value between the business and one or more parties, which yield changes in the accounting equation. So meaning it is a transaction between the business and another external party. And take note, it has an effect on the elements of the accounting equation. On the other hand, internal transactions are exchanges within the entity and they also have a measurable effect in the accounting equation. So what is transaction analysis? Transaction analysis is a process of reconciling the differences made to each side of the accounting equation with each financial transaction that occurs. So in transaction analysis, first we're going to ask, is the event accountable or not? Second, what are the elements involved? Does it involve assets, liabilities, or equity? What are the particular accounts involved? For example, in assets, does it affect cash or accounts receivable? For liability, for example, does it affect accounts payable or notes payable? Or does it have an impact in the owner's equity account of the business? What is the effect then? Does it increase the account or decrease the account? What will you do? Shall you debit it or credit? And lastly, how much or what is the amount that you're going to record for that particular transaction? So again, for transaction analysis, you're going to ask these questions. First, is the event accountable or not? Second, what are the elements involved? 
Third, what are the accounts affected? Fourth, is it an increase or decrease in those particular accounts? Fifth, will you debit or credit the transaction? And number six, how much is the cost of the transaction? So we're going to give examples of business transactions. The first transaction is this. The owner deposits 200,000 in the checking account to begin operations. So in this transaction, the owner starts the business by depositing 200,000 in the bank. So let us recap the accounting equation. What is the impact of this transaction to the accounting equation, which goes asset is equal to liability plus owner's equity. The asset cash is increased by 200,000 and it has an impact on the owner's equity. It increases capital by 200,000. Transaction number two. The business purchases a laptop on credit for 15,000. So, what is the impact of the transaction in the accounting equation? The asset equipment is increased by 15,000. So when you purchase a laptop, that is an equipment. So there is an increase of 15,000 in the assets. And of course, since in the transaction, it states that it was a credit transaction for 15,000. So as a result, the liability accounts payable is increased also by 15,000 and there is no impact in the owner's equity portion. Transaction number three. The business purchases office supplies using 550 cash. Let us now analyze the business transaction. What is the impact in the accounting equation? The asset office supplies is increased by 550 and the asset cash is decreased by 550. No effect in the liabilities and owner's equity. So if you try to see, you can offset the asset portion because it is increased by 550 and at the same time it is also decreased by 550. So in analyzing the accounting equation, it becomes zero is equal to zero. Transaction number four. A business purchases a building for 100,000 with a 25,000 cash down payment and a loan for the 75,000 outstanding. So let us now analyze the business transaction. What is the impact in the accounting equation? Assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. More than two accounts are affected in this transaction. The asset building increases by 100,000 and the asset cash decreases by 25,000. On the other hand, the liability account loans payable increases by 75,000 and no impact in the owner's equity. So if you... Uh, analyze the transaction, 100,000 minus 25,000 will give you 75,000 and that is equal with the 75,000 on the other side of the accounting equation. So let us recall that the accounting equation must always remain in balance. So 75,000 is equal to 75,000. So the accounting equation is balanced. Transaction number five. The business sells goods for 5,000 cash. Assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. The asset cash is increased by 5,000 and the revenue increases owner's equity by 5,000. So the accounting equation is balanced because 5,000 is equal to 5,000. By the way, revenue is a component of the owner's equity. So that is why its result is it increases owner's equity. Transaction number six. The business pays its monthly rent of 3,500 using a company check. 
assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. The asset cash is decreased by 3,500 because you are paying here the rent expense. And the expense decreases owner's equity also by 3,500. So expense, in particular rent expense, is a component of the owner's equity and it decreases the owner's equity. So 3,5 is equal to 3,5. So the accounting equation is balanced. Transaction number seven. The business owner withdraws 2000 for his personal use. So the asset cash is decreased by 2000 because of the withdrawal. And on the other hand, the drawing or withdrawal decreases owner's equity by 2000. So withdrawal or drawings is also a component of the owner's equity. Hence, it decreases owner's equity by 2000. So is the accounting equation ba balanced? Yes. So 2,000 is equal to 2,000. In order for you to evaluate what you have learned today, I have prepared a do-it-yourself drill. Instructions. Indicate the effects of the following transactions upon the total amounts of the asset, liability, and owner's equity. Use the symbol plus for increase, minus for decrease, and NE for no effect. The first transaction will serve as your example. Opened a business bank account with a deposit of 100,000 to start up the business. So the account cash increases asset by 100,000. So plus for asset to indicate increase. No effect or no impact on liability. And the account capital or owner's capital increases owner's equity also by 100,000. So you place a plus sign in the owner's equity to indicate increase. So is the account equation balanced? Yes. Asset is 100,000 is equal to 100,000 on the other side with owner's equity, which you increase also by 100,000. So for items number 2 and 11, is for you to practice. So you can do this at home. You can ask a friend, consult your classmates, or even ask the help of your teachers in order for you to be able to fully understand the drill. Okay? So again, this is teacher Steve your senior high school teacher for fundamentals of ABM1. I hope you learned something today and I hope you were able to grasp the meaning and the nature of business transactions and as well as give examples of these business transactions. So to all my students, keep viewing liking commenting and subscribing to steve rich channel thank you very much and may the lord bless you a hundredfold